Our next guest, and y'all uh, forgive me just a second, I'm going to click some buttons to move her in here so we can talk to her, is Lauren Stroh. Lauren, I'm going to give you a button to start your video. There you are. Hi. Hey, thank you for being with us, friend. So happy to be here. Uh, I love this project. I think it's so inspiring and, and helpful during this time. Um, and yeah, shall I just dive right in? Yeah, well, we want to absolutely dive right in. Um, for those who don't know you, tell us where you're streaming from today and a couple things about yourself. So I am, uh, I am streaming from Dallas, Texas, um, and I'm uh, sheltering in place with my puppy dog and my partner. And um, it's been super interesting, which I know that all of you will relate to that. Uh, very different. Um, I play the organ and I direct the choir at um, Holy Trinity with Father Jonathan. Uh, and so um, I'm just really excited to, to be a part of this today. Awesome. Well, we're excited to, to hear your story. Yeah, uh, and so I was having to, um, uh, there have been a lot of examples uh, for me of, um, I've really, really been struggling during this time, um, and I do have um, just a lot of anxiety. I struggle with depression on a regular day, and so this, this time has been really, really hard for me, um, and I noticed that I have a lot of friends uh, and family who are more introverted, who are actually finding a lot of good things uh, during this time, um, and my experience has been pretty different as far as um, just having a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of times where I'm, I'm just really struggling. Uh, and so uh, for me, I think the story that, that I, um, that came to mind when you were mentioning this is my, my sister, she is uh, going to be married in September. Uh, she and I were on the phone and I was telling her some of my struggles, um, and she she was very uh, kind about holding that space for me. And there was a moment where she was able to say, um, you know, I'm not having those struggles. I'm actually like really having a, a great, like there's some really great bonding things that are happening for me right now. I'm excited about the wedding coming up, um, but my heart just breaks for you. And I know how much your energy means in the world. Um, I'm like a crazy extrovert. So uh, she was just trying to remind me that like, you are needed, you are here, like, we love you. Um, and there was just something so beautiful about the way that she was honest about her experience, but also able to hold the space for someone that's very different. Um, and that felt really, really, really good in that moment. Um, and, and I think a lot of other people in my life that I love, um, even, I know this sounds so silly maybe, but even just having, you know, snuggles from my puppy dog where, you know, I might be really struggling, I might be hurting, but it's, um, it is very encouraging to have people that are very different from me say, I see you hurting and I see you there and I, I I want you in my life and I want to help you and I, I think it's given me a little more grace to understand how God can meet me because I have very little uh, self-love for myself when I'm depressed like I have a hard time accepting myself when I feel depressed and so having beautiful friends say to me like I see you in that place where you're hurting, and I also love you, reminded me of just how much God wants to be with me in this place of hurting and in this place of not really being okay and, and having a really, really hard time with what's going on. Um, and so I, yeah, I, I think it was, it's been like a encountering and re-encountering of God in a different way where I recognize that even when I'm hurting, even when I'm not this normal energetic self that I am able to put forward, like there's, there's a lot of grace outside of me and within me as far as 
trying to, um, I can be lovable at this time when I'm hurting and when I'm struggling. And that has been very overwhelming for me to understand and encounter um, and just a, a really beautiful gift of not having my normal tools that I usually have. Like I feel very powerless right now uh, in bad ways and then also in, in good ways. It's, it's teaching me a lot about myself 